everyone i am back again leslie ann here with a new video and this is a new timu haul i know i said it would be a while before i did my next timu shop um however i got some really really good prices on things and i wanted to get a particular order in um before i go into hospital and have my surgery so i thought i'd do this one now um and because some of the things that I've got, I kind of want for after surgery. So I'm going to get on and show you what I've got. Um, right, okay, these. This is um, a pack of three, you know, like, yeah. Uh, oh, you know, like your knickers that have got like the, what do you call it? Like, it's not shapewear or anything like that, but it's these knickers. They're like cycle shorts almost. They're cycle shorts, aren't they? That's what they are. But you can use them as underwear and you don't get any sort of rubbing of your thighs or anything like that. And these are going to be perfect. I mean, I love these anyway now, um, but I've got three more, you know, a pack of three more, um, particularly for after surgery, because I know these are going to be so comfy because I'm having major abdominal surgery and it's open surgery. So I'm gonna be cut sort of from breastbone all the way down and then across sort of like a C-section. So it's major surgery. Um, so I thought these are going to be great for one, when I can actually start to wear something next to my skin again, these are gonna be great. So I went for pretty colors and um, so I've got the purple, well, they're like a lavender colour, really, aren't they? I've got the pink, so the lavendery colour, lilac y pink. And what's this one? And this one is like a grape, sort of like a black grape or black currant sort of colour. I love all of these. I have got like nude ones, I've got black ones, I've got white ones. Don't think I haven't got any coloured ones. So I thought, especially with the summer coming up, it'd be nice and cheerful to get some nice, nice colours. So that's those. Put those there. Um, what is this? Ah, yeah. Okay. So this is like. A bit of a support post surgery. Um, I know some ladies wear things like this when they're sort of pregnant, and I thought this would be really great and supportive to put over my abdomen once you know I've had the surgery as well. Um, you know, I've, I'm I follow, I'm on like a forum for you know what I've got, and um, sort of really looking at things that people are recommending that they've used after surgery. So yeah, that's that one. So I thought that would be really helpful as well. What I'll do is I'll find them on the website and then well, I'll look on the app and I'll find what I paid for these and I will either just pop it down below or if I can find a picture of it, I'll just put a picture next to it for you. And then what have I got here? Okay, this funny little gadget here. I thought I'd get this because I've got a couple of dresses I need to take up. And I thought rather than making any mistakes, it's like a slider. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then you kind of bring it up. So when you turn your hem up, make sure you get the same length all the way around. Um, you can use this and I thought that's a really good little gadget. Look. And so you kind of just lay it on the fabric and then however much you want to sort of turn it up. So you'd have that say on your fabric like that. And then if you want to go, I don't know, so many inches up, it's just to make sure that it's the same all the way around and then you just pin it into place. So I thought that is, you know, a really good little nifty thing to, to have when it comes to taking up 
just sort of trousers or as I say I've got some really nice summer dresses and even if they're meant to be like a midi length they are often more than often still too long on me they're like a maxi but because of the cut of the dress they don't look right as a maxi so I thought well I've got a couple of like sea sort dresses that are really lovely and they're not cheap so I don't want to ruin them I was thinking about taking them to just like a little dressmaker or seems just to get them done but if I can just sit and do this, this, especially after surgery, I'll be able to sort of sit quietly and maybe do it. We'll see. Right, that's that one. I'm thinking this might be another one of those sort of belly things in the black, because I'm pretty sure I ordered one in black and one in white. You know, especially where I've got grandchildren and dogs, you sort of to be extra cautious so yeah that's that's one of those in black as well so it just sort of like is it a hug around your middle and i thought that would be so comfy under you know a nighty or under a dress in the garden you know um i got a hat I got a hat I intend to spend a lot of time in the garden afterwards, just chilling and relaxing, you know. Obviously, not a long time all at once, but I will be going out there, having a morning coffee, that sort of thing, hopefully. I've still got a hat. I've got my hair up at the moment, so I don't know how to sit. Um, but inside, it has got... Hold on inside it's got these little ribbons that you can pull it to make it smaller if you need it to be and i think in the pictures it showed it with like that at the front let's have a look i've got my hair up though and i've got so i've got a hair, a hair thing in but uh It reminds me of very 1920s, but I think this is going to be amazing for in the garden. Can't wait to wear this. Eee, that is so comfy. They did it in different colours as well. They did it in black. They do it in this colour and they do it in like, um, like a creamy, creamy beigey colour. That's that one. Um... This is a silk pillowcase. Um, I will be spending quite a bit of time in bed afterwards. So I thought how to protect the hair. I got a silk pillowcase and it is mulberry silk. So it's 100% mulberry silk, this one. And um, what I like about the pillowcases from there is that they're zipped so the pillow doesn't sort of pull out and fall out and it is as I say it's a these are um mulberry silk these ones so yeah get all prepared guys because it's not long in fact by the time you see this I might have even had it done so I'm not sure when I'm gonna put this video up yet I got another pair of these shoes so I've got these already in yellow and they are so comfy, it's unreal. They're just so, so comfortable. So they're just like a tan color at the bottom, like that on the soles. And then they're just, you've got the elastic strap at the back. And this doesn't have any sort of give to it, but it's just, because it's so breathable, they're so comfortable. And I love the yellow ones, they're so, um, so joyful you know the color so i thought i'd go for this sort of color as well because it's a classic color really isn't it so these are in size um 37 which is the four okay so i've got those um oh i'm gonna save those to last got one of these now i've already got a couple of these 
type of tops. They're great for the summer. You know, like when it starts to get a little bit cooler in the evenings and you just need that little bit of a cover up or you get a bit too warm and you just want to get that sun off of your, your arms, your back, that sort of thing. So I've got a few, but this one is much longer. I haven't got one this long and I haven't got one in this colour. So this is quite long. So it's more more of a, um, a tunic style. And you've got the nice little cuffs here. I love the coral colour. And the sleeves, you've got like this... So they're on your, it's on your arm and it's got these open bits here. The shoulders are just so nice. The whole thing is lovely. And of course the colour's beautiful. A tiny little uh, sort of ribbon, but very, very relaxed. Because obviously that's the idea for it to be a relaxed cover up. Um, and I thought that colour is just stunning. So I could have that on, I could have my hat on, my new little sandals. Who is she? Um, right, what else have I got? Um, I've got two pairs of these different colours, slightly different styles. For Chris, I did get him a pair of black ones, and he's abs... No, are they black? Oh, black and white. I think these might be different. Oh yeah, these are navy blue, but I've got them black ones and he lives and dies in them. He said they are so, so comfy. So, um, I say I've got the white soles, you can clearly see there. And this bit here is navy blue, very breathable. He said they're so comfy. They've got a little bit here to help pull them on. Um, yeah, what else can I say about them really? They are in a size 10. And he loves them. And then oh, I got in these. And um, these are slightly different. Okay, so these, they've got that in there to keep it sort of shape. It's different, isn't it? Look at that. Um, again, they're the same sort of thing, that stretchy material. Now, I've got a pair of shoes in this sort of stuff, this design sort of material, and they are so comfy, you don't even know you're wearing them. And that's what the sole's like. And the sole is the same colour as the shoe, apart from that bit there, that goes up the toe just to protect it, sort of like when you're driving, etc. And then you've got a bit to pull here and a bit to pull on here. And then at the back, it's slightly different, just like a different design there. And uh, I think these are lovely, actually. So there we go. He's yet to try these on. Right, then I've got this. Are you ready for this? So this, my vision is this will sit on... Um, at the side of the house, we have a gate, a tall sort of six foot gate. And then we've got like a walkway thing, like the side of the house. And then we've got another gate, because we have two gates, obviously, because we've got dogs and keep it all protected. So we've got another high gate as well. And this I visualise on either one of the gates. So looking out at the front of the house, possibly, is my vision. Um... And it's a doggy. Look at that. So that can be screwed. So it comes with the screws and everything. That can be screwed to the top of the, of the gate. He's keeping a watch and an eye on the house, right? Isn't it lovely? I love it. Reminds me of Diesel, a dog that we used to look after. R.I.P. Diesel. Two more things to go, my loves. No, three more things to go. So this is very much vacuum packed. Right, so I've got something very similar to this already. Right, so I've got something very similar to this already. I got it from Amazon for afterwards. So after I've had this big surgery, um, I'm gonna need some abdominal support and, you know, sort of when you cough and all the rest of it. So I have got, I have two now. 
Um, it needs to, obviously it needs to be left to plump right up now. Um, so it is like a memory foam inside. So it does need to go into shape. But this one's shaped differently to the one, the other one that I've got. So the other one I've got, I can actually, it comes with a strap with Velcro around. I can actually attach it to myself. So should the dogs try to jump up or anything, or if I was to walk into something, knock myself, um, then, you know, I'd be relatively okay. Um, it does come with a zip here to take the cover off. And it has a pocket here, and that pocket is either to be used, you know, as a pocket, or you can get like, you know, you can get those little tiny things that you can warm up in the microwave to sort of help with your back and that sort of thing. So, or help with your tummy, to get tummy aches. And this one is more sort of shaped to sort of sit around you and to be sort of snuggled to help you um so i've got that one as well because i know that when i come home i'll probably still have lots of different drains in and things um because it is a really big surgery as i say that i'm i'm actually having so um in fact, I've been up to the hospital today to see the consultant again today, sort of checking everything's okay. And yeah, anyway, this one, I can't remember what this is. Do you know what? I can't really remember what it is. Oh, what does it say? Um, oh, lip gloss. So it's a lip gloss. So let's open it. There we go. So here we go, guys. Woo! It looks really sparkly, doesn't it? Really, really sparkly there. Really sparkly. Let's put a bit on. I need to get a bit more on this. It looks quite subtle. Smells a little bit like a vanilla -y sort of smell. Hmm. Feels lovely on the lips. Lip gloss. Lip Queen Shiny Lip Gloss, it says there. Lovely little packaging. Can you see it? Is it sparkly? <laughs> I can't see it for the life of me. <laughs> Last but not least. Oh my. So I saw these guys. I saw these and I couldn't resist. They come in a box. And every time I saw them, every time I saw them, I thought about getting them, they were out of stock. So I did the old, you know, um, press the thing, notify me when they come back into stock and they did. And I'm hoping they're going to be beautiful. But they're a pair of espadrilles. Just a pair of espadrilles. They look like they're going to be too big. Even though they're a size four, they look quite big. The trouble is with me, I haven't got a big foot. I don't have a wide foot. I have a skinny foot. And my foot isn't very deep either. It's like quite bony. I don't really have any fat on my feet whatsoever. Um, but can you see the attraction? See what I mean? Very similar to the real thing. Very similar to the real thing. And when I saw them, I thought, oh my goodness me. I have so got to get them. Aren't they gorgeous? Look. Oh, and that looks like that's going to be really, a really good sole and you're not going to slip or anything. And they're just absolutely stunning. I am so pleased I've got them. 
that's it my love so that's the end of this Timu haul I so I bought everything myself I didn't leave it quite as long as I thought I was going to leave it more to go slap on the rest um but yeah I wanted some of these things obviously for like you know post-surgery like the knicker things and the cushion um the hat for in the garden comfy shoes all that sort of thing so I did you know <laughs> it was necessary and unnecessary one as well um however I've got it and I'm really, really chuffed. If you have enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would be so, so grateful if you would consider subscribing and press the notification bell for my next videos. Let me know your favourite piece from this haul and I'll talk to you in my next video. Meanwhile, take care, everybody. Take care, look after yourselves. Bye for now. 